One of the highly requested questions in chat is how do I rank up from Platinum to GM? How do I rank up from Silver to GM? How do I win more games? My teammates are growing. Um, what do I play in this scenario? And other questions like that. What I want to do is I want to start a series by doing unranked to GM and I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm going to make a decision making. I'm going to explain everything I do on a certain hero in every game. Welcome everybody, welcome to another day of Unranked to GM with Torbjorn. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck, this is, this is for the next couple of months. Before we hop in chat, any general questions? Not necessarily about Baptist, certain concepts such as what is peel, what is healing, what is kiting. Do you think Baptiste will work in 2 2 or other things like that? No way. Any tips on how to improve Baptiste's shot recoil? Okay, there's a small pattern with his recoil. If you shoot, it goes straight up. The way you counter it, like the first bullet you shoot, it will land in the place you place. You, the place you place. The crosshair, the next two will go up. So after you shoot the first bullet, you just drag the mouse down. You can see it at very long distances. Let's say, let's say this distance. I think it's highly underrated by people. Like people, if let's say you're you're shooting at a Lucio while riding, they will just track the Lucio, you know? Like they will track him like this, and you only hit him with one maximum two bullets. But if you drag the crosshair down, when you track even at long distances, then you're going to see that you're going to land a lot of more shots and he does a lot of damage. So again, just have the um, routine, the I don't know the word for it right now, uh, to like just shoot and then small drag the mouse down right as you shoot. Considering the 2 2 2, the 2 2 2 lock will come in soon. Uh, probably in a month from now or less than a month. I'll just say what combos I think will work with Baptiste in a 2 2 2. Baptiste and Ana can work pretty well. Ana will be focused more on healing and Baptiste will be focused more on damage and dueling people. So he's going to be very aggressive with the ultimate. And you kind of like relieve a lot of pressure from, from the Ana. Baptiste and Brig might work, but I don't think it's going to be optimal. I think if you want to play Baptiste with Brig, you better swap Baptiste and go Ana. But let's say you want the immortality field or you want the um, um, the wall in front, the window as pe I've heard people call Baptiste's ultimate in front, maybe can work. I think it's suboptimal. So, so far with Ana, okay. With Brig, mm. with Lucio, I'd rather play Moira or Ana, not Baptiste. I don't see quite a spot for Lucio Bap, considering the fact that Baptiste is not good with divers and he doesn't need any help with repos repositioning because Lucio is really good at peeling and at repositioning. Baptiste can just do a field shift for himself, get on high ground, so that I don't think that Lucio and Baptiste is optimal either. Baptiste and Mercy can work out, is one of the strongest combos right now in the meta and I think it will be in the future also. Mercy just pockets somebody, a sniper or a bastion and Baptiste just heals up the tanks and you have um, the ultimate, you also have immortality field, this is a good combo. Baptiste and Mercy. Also works really good against Orisa Hog because when Hog lands a hook, you throw the immortality field and uh, should be okay. Baptiste and Moira, not that much. But I need to see how strong Moira is, I'm not gonna talk in advance. Overall, if Baptiste Ana is kind of forced, Baptiste and Moira would be more forced. If they don't have an Ana, then this might be the highest healing combo in the entire game. AoE, I mean, like healing up the entire team. But I don't think that it will work out pretty well, considering that right now you're only going to have in the future a maximum of two tanks, Baptiste and Moira not that optimal. Because they don't need a lot of healing. Bop and Zen is another combo that can work out. Lack of, the lack of Zen from healing can be compensated by Baptiste. You also have a lot of damage. You also have a defensive ult from Zen and a pseudo defensive ult, I would say. Although it's an ability from Baptiste Z. And uh, Bop can peel pretty well for Zen. So the highest combos with Baptiste, I would say, to summarize. Ana Mercy. Uh, Ana Mercy. Uh, Baptiste Mercy. Baptiste Zen. Baptiste Ana maybe. And then the other ones, I would say. Best supports versus Orisa Hog. Baptiste Zen works very well. You have a lot of shield pressure in case the shield breaks. You have a Discord Orb. You have a one shot potential with Zen right click even before you turn around the corner, as always. You have a defensive ult with Zen. In case somebody gets hooked, you throw the immortality field at the hooked target and you help that target get away, which offers you a huge advantage. And in addition, 
for all the extra damage, uh, Baptista's ultimate is the best at the best ultimate at breaking shields in the entire game, in my opinion. So, yeah, Bap Zen is very good against Torista. Uh, another thing that can work is Bap Mercy. You should be a teacher. Maybe. Is Bap Mercy. Bap Mercy is really good also because even if that target gets, let's say, you play Bap Mercy. A uh, sniper dies or goes on a flank, let's say the Hanzo goes past the shield, just throw the immortality field so Muxy rests really fast. They need to focus the immortality field, Muxy gets the rest and flies to you. Or even if, let's say, you don't have the reaction time to throw your immortality field in the beginning when the target is hooked. After the target is hooked, you throw the immortality field so Muxy can rest and your team pushes up a bit to cover for the rest. So, again, Bap Muxy, Bap Zen really good. If they're considering that you said about Orisa Hawk, they might not have a D.Va. Then, um, if they don't have a diva, Anna can work quite well also, even with Baptist. Other than that, I don't think Arik supports are optimal, unless you want to be cheeky and just play with Alusha speed boost, or just play goats and play tactical and rush in them. Or you know, enemy teams so they get easy win. You guys in chat. I only do damage when I know that I don't need to heal and that person is not going to die or if I feel I am going to win the fight and it doesn't matter if my teammates die anyway because the goal is just to win the fight over there Imagine the worst possible Would you consider a hard contact to Baptiste? Doomfist is a hard contact to Baptiste Farah Mercy to a certain extent is a hard contact because you lack long range heals long range damage I mean because he has like quite a big damage fall off Widow is a big contact to Baptiste because you jump and that yeah you die, you can't jump that well. Um, and Hawk to a certain extent, but you're also a contact to Hawk with your immortality field. But Doomfist is the biggest contact in my opinion. Genji? Nah, Genji's not a contact to Baptist at all. You can duel him quite easily. It's a skill matchup, I would say. Hello? Hello, boys. Oh, so thanks. Hello. All better. Hello. Just gonna stay behind. We have a pick. If you have a pick, don't do anything fancy. Like it's not your goal as a support right now to go and try to kill them. You know, your goal is to make sure that people don't die. Somebody died in the beginning. Now Anna died, so I'm just chilling over here. I'll land over there. Maybe Genji will benefit from it. Like this is the number, number one rule for this game so far. If somebody dies. Let's say take DPS dies, you're 6 versus 5. There's no need for you to try to go in front, try to 1v5 or something like that. Just take it slow. The DPSs and tanks are doing their job. If you see that your team is doing their job, then yeah, you need to pocket them more. But if you see that your team does not do their job, then you need to play a little bit more aggressive. They don't have a sniper, so I can pick quite freely. I'm just going to stay on the payload, honestly. I think it's going to be... We have a pick right now. Look. We have a pick right now, I'm not even looking for damage, I'm trying, if possible, to try to heal up my teammate, but Reaper doesn't see where I am. By the way, this is a thing I saw in Diamond, and in all raiding so far. People don't know where the heals are coming from. They do not look to their left, they do not look to the right, they do not look to anywhere. Like, they don't even know where the healer is. That was kinda late. Put a word low. They have a pick, and now I'm kind of scared. This is behind. I need to jump this. I'm going to jump up. This is gonna get me though. He failed the jump. I'm gonna go back. He's going to try to get me, and now we're good. Getting my LOS if possible. That's what you need to call out. But usually people don't listen at all. It's mostly about your teammates, honestly. That's a behind. Nice kill. Gonna move up in front. Break the bubble. Box the trans. And to kill our people. Gonna be close to Kram here. He has it already. Someone is there. Okay. Monkey Vegelo. Game so nice and chill. Oh, that was a nice dash. She dashed from top. She's keeping the double dash try to get to me. But always pressure. Like over there, just just trust your aim in scenarios like that. Like the tracer is only going to tickle you from that distance. Winston is scramble. Kill the Winston. Doesn't have jump. One. Nice. 
Come to me. He's going to kill, then dash to me. I have to use this deflect. Wait, I need to kill with him. With a one. I can't do that. With a stop left, Vegelo. I could say something about Genji's ult, but still. It should be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember about Genji also. There's a small deflect time. Like, after they deflect, then when he puts his swords back in, in which um, you can do damage to him. Like, a very slow time. I'm going to show you in slow motion after. Genji, no dash, no deflect on payload. We do stop left. When you get dived, use your shift first, then try to stop to Baptist disease buff if possible. If you're going to get regular. Let's try to get the top left high ground first with tanks, then drop on payload. If you're playing against the sniper, your primary goal is to try to uh, deny the sniper vision. Press the stop, right? Alright, play more aggressive in this. Like, I feel like we lost all our momentum. Kill the Winston. 5v5. That's unexpected damage. Don't defy Genji. Half HP on payload. Can you hear your buff in the back? Stay behind payload, help your gunner, help your gunner. Nicely. This is quite low. This is one, nice. That sleep was quite. Oh, they have a lever. Okay, we got this. The boss the player. I'll, move up. I'll give you an uh, unethical tip when things like this happen. If you're six versus five and what you really want to get the saw really fast, what I would say is try to take the fights fast. Like don't wait if you really want to get the saw. We can kill him, he's got nothing. Monkey doesn't have primal. Box his jump, nice. I'm going to climb up. Uh, actually, I'm going to stay with Tana. Uh, Tana's Tana. healing quite well. Uh, I can't get him. They've been getting more talent now, that's it. He died. I think there's a Hesse support and five was lost. He doesn't have primal, just kill him, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Should I be using immortality like that? Stop all. They have blade. Just pocketing him. Should be fine. Just want to stay on payload. When I get on payload, I'm going to jump up. They might just put the payload actually. Using my ult to spam extra kills. Who does behind you to the right side? Uh, they have a ball behind. Gonna boop us, I think. Yeah, ball coming in now. Careful, Gisa. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Listen to sounds like that. Ball makes a very big sound. It's a very big ball. Is this my junk card? Yeah, it's my junk card. Now, cool tip. We kill three people. So I don't want to let them push the payload even just a little bit. I didn't want Ogisa to drop, but she wanted to drop eventually, so it's all good. They have Widow, be careful. So the Widow's uh, up. Let's jump down. Let's hold the choke. Uh, just, just hold here, we don't have time for high ground. Oh, choke. Come here, come choke, here, come choke, here. Choke, come back to choke, Arisa, come back. Okay. Can heal it there. Back out. Okay, so come back. Why are you all up there? Fuck behind. I know Hawks to my left. That's why I dodge. Quick one. Fox 
just gonna hook again. When you get hooked, couch all the time, you might fuck up his combo. Hook one. On a one. Okay, it's not in voice. If he... No. I mean, she is in voice. Yeah. I thought she's not in voice. I wanna show you something after that. It's called like some somebody said how do you know certain things when you can't see them? I'll explain to you after. Let's just play the game. Just poking, poking. This off Mog is uh main goal guy now honestly is again I'm only saying what can kill me? What can kill me? They have widow. How can I make Widow's life easier? Jumping, so I'm not gonna jump, I'm gonna play around walls. If Widow's nice. dead, what can kill me? Hook, flashbang, getting slapped and pulled. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. So I can play at long gauge, I can play on high ground. If I get poked out by, let's say, Genji shooting at me, no problem, I can shift, I can ask Kana for kills. So I can be a little bit more ballsy. But the guy now, what the fuck is that? Uh, Widow is spawned. I press tab, so Widow is spawned. And uh, I need to be kind of like closer to my team. We're using a grip tag. I'm trying to charge my control, so in case he's going to get low, I'm going to throw my mortality field. But it was a little bit too late there because he got tapped by Genji, people tap in the head. Widow's left side, grapple left side, I think, on top. Come back, Ogisa. No, Widow's behind us. Widow's behind us. I'll take the duel with Widow. Hmm. Okay. When I's dead, I don't want to get slept, so I'm going to be careful of the guy. Right. Yeah. This is not a bay, we should be fine. He's going to hook again. He's going behind. He did that last time, so I'm trying to get in his movement. See? If one person does that in low rating a lot, it's because they saw a video and somebody said that you should be doing that. And they always do the same thing. Like, see, the hog is obsessed with going left side. Just obsessed with it. Hog left, very low. Hamstick's very low. Better. Now. Everybody to come back. You know why I use immortality field? The gun with the widow, and I had no idea where the widow was. So in case Hammond booped the like camp, boop the widow up, so that she uh, the enemy widow gets a headshot. That's why I did that. They're gonna get it now. Like that's a cool thing to know against Hammond with Baptiste's immortality field. Although Hammond will not kill people. Oh. <laughs> oh God, huh? Wait, let me let me play this. Go to the top right. Four was one. I'm gonna be a heal bot with four versus five. Put it on top. the wall as much as possible. Even if it in appearance it looks like a bad wall, you can always get improvise. Oh, it's quite low, Hawk is quite low. Focus, quite low. No way I can out heal from that range a whole hog ulting my uh Ogisa. If I had my ult then yeah it would have been worked. Okay so the tip I wanted to give you is this you know ball slams and he does one handed damage and the guy after then he can just like pep you down a bit. Well, yeah, but if they have a what sniper or anything that can follow up on the jump, and a nade, and a shot, uh, Hanzo shooting, Widow shooting, then you wanna be preemptive with your immortality field usage. Fucking Thanos. This is coming on your runner. It's okay, one minute and a half. There's a lot of bullets. Hold this show close, we're all here. I feel like I need to talk more. Five people in voice. So, communication is key. We won the fight, so this is why I'm not using rules, because like we got two picks. Thank you for the education. Like big problem will be with, with Genji's blade. But if we hold here and he uses the blade now, then it means we're going to have another fight after he uses blade. They have none of it probably. Can we bongo? Can we use bongo? Special 
No dash, Genji, no dash. Genji's dead, that's all I wanted. Come on, come on, come on, the fight. He's gonna primal. It's good, it's good, yes, yes, primal. They have a Faga now, and they also have Blade for last fight. This Nano. Should be easy to kill with that. Soldier, come on top. Can you? Oh, never mind. Can you stop left? I'm going to ult and try to kill one person myself. Can you just back low? Can you just love? Nice. Okay. Moi gonna fade, kill the Moi gonna payload, Moi gonna payload, fucks. That's good, GG. People in diamond stuck. Stuck doing more gun. More damage. If your team gets a pick, don't accelerate the rhythm as in don't go and try to be YOLO into them. A lot of flares, as soon as they get a kill, uh, as DPS is not as tank in general. But I know that you see me play very aggressive usually. And um, if you watch, like whenever you play aggressive, you want to have like calculated aggression. If you get a pick right now, let's say we kill the McCree, I cannot afford to like just walk in front into their face, you know? Like they need 10 seconds to respond, 10 seconds to come back. So this is why like I'm playing behind payload. I'm not trying to jump on high ground. My team is jumping on high ground and stuff like that. Like the second the enemy team backs out, then I start to move also. And see how passive I play? Okay, Ana's dead. Another pick. Perfect. We have the advantage. So this is the number one thing I want to say as a healer. Of course, it means that you need to like move into a certain rhythm with your team. Like if your team is in front, then yeah, you try to move with them. But at the same time, you need to be safe because if you die, then you're going to make it 5 versus 5 or 4 versus 4. That's the first thing. The second thing I wanted to show you was on defense first point. Because somebody said that doing loud comms on a video on the first or second episode i think of this series they said that if you do loud comms they don't understand they get panicked and they don't understand because they look around and they don't hear anything and i wanted to show you about not hearing about literally just using your mental map above your head knowing what the enemy um does this was the fight when i kept uh when i kept them alive when I got hooked, I dodged the hook without even watching. Let's play this just for a bit. Yeah, usually as a healer, your primary goal is to... One of your goals, I mean not primary goal, is to try to die last. If possible. <clears throat> okay, so we're still defending. I want to see where the hook hooked me. Was it? Yeah, it was here. Okay. So, let me play the whole sequence. Let's play from above the head. So, Hawk starts walking left side, look at my movement, I hear him go there, he fucks up the hook, try to dodge him, the reason why I used the mortality field over here is because he was in, he had one more bullet left, before he vaped, he could have just headshotted and muted me, at this distance I would have gotten one shot, so that's why I used the mortality field there, he ran out, Wanted to try out the jump over here, but I, it seems like it doesn't work. Like you cannot do this jump with Baptiste. I think you can probably do it from here or from from here. You can do it for sure. But from the ground, it seems like it does. You cannot do it. And right now, my teammates are low in front. Like you see the HP, right? And I still know that the hog is to my left. So I'm going to play this very slow motion and see how I'm ignoring the hog and just just trying to dodge him, knowing that he thinks that I don't know he's there. Let me play this just to be like this, and now look at this. So I know Hog is right to my left, and I just dodge it. Because I know he's going to go for a hook, I'm not even looking at him. Now I'll, I'll give you my point of view, to understand. Like you need to have a mental map above your head. I'm not gonna say anything so you can hear everything. Pay attention to Hog's sounds. Like you heard his footstep for a bit to the left 
And apart from that, it was obvious that he was going to try to go for a hook. So what I wanted to get out of this is, it's not necessarily seeing things in front of you and reacting to them. It's knowing what things happen to your left, to your right, using using everything, using everything around you, every possible um, signal. Like over here, you heard Hook's fo footsteps. Hog, by the way, when he crouches, he still makes like a small, small Eleven sound because of, of his uh, chain in the hook. Depths of the abyss I go. So yeah. ML7 lurk. Like always, always try to make sure. Of course, this couldn't couldn't possibly work out. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't because you're essentially dodging blindly. So just like, you know how in, like if you watch in front, it's like let's say, I don't fucking know. The best example I can give is whatever let's say you're fighting dude okay and like you watch over here to the in front and you know that somebody to the left wants to punch you and you know that the punch will come will come right here right so you knowing this you listen for the sound cue when he starts punching or when he starts holding his breath or when you feel like his body language like you feel like he gets tense so then you can react to it in your own way like same as in game like always try to listen to the cues audio cues psychological cues what you would do in that scenario to like be aware of what's happening around you. A lot of people just just play the game like this, dude. They just see things in front of them. Look, I'll show you how they play the game. They play the game like this. This is how they play the game. And then they say, uh, Hog left side. When the fuck did Hog get here? Use the sound. Use the sound. And the second tip I have for you, this is very Hog specific. When you get hooked, crouch. Some Hogs are not fast enough to one-shot you. So... Every good hog will one shot you prop properly if they practice enough and they're a main hog. You're gonna see that players that are known for the road hog or let's say the diamond plat whatever, and they have like um, they're playing a lot of road hog, right? They will one shot you more reliably. But some players, even those players, don't one shot you reliably because like they're waiting for a bit. Like just try to crouch over here. I see. This is the first time I see actually. What the fuck? I got healed up by Anna at the same time. But the, he still didn't do it fast enough anyway. I could have couched it. Like boom, you get hooked and then that's it. You try to couch the fuck up his pattern.